Grade 8 Math, number 4.2D, find slope and y-intercept on a graph. When a graph rises to the right, see how it's going up towards the right? That means we're going to have a positive slope. It's going to be a positive number. When a graph falls to the right, this one's falling towards the right, we have a negative slope. Our slope will be a negative number. Remember that the slope-intercept form of an equation is the y value is equal to m as the slope times x plus b. That's our y-intercept. And remember, when you're choosing points as ordered pairs, choose them from left to right. If our line is rising to the right and we have two points on our graphed line, we choose from left to right, so that would be point one and that would be point two. Even if it's falling to the right, we go left to right, so the left one is point one and that's point two. Remember the slope formula. We have m, the slope, is equal to the change in y values divided by the change in x values. It's the rise over the run. So we can find a slope and y-intercept on a graph just by looking at it. This graph is rising to the right, so we know it's going to be a positive slope. We can see where it's intersecting the y-axis. It's at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's where x is 0. Whatever that y-value is, that's the y-intercept. So we know our y-intercept is a 5 just by looking at the graph. And we can pick two points where these lines intersect each other, and we can count the rise and the run. The rise is the vertical change, and the run is the horizontal change. Well, it's rising three squares, one, two, three, and the run going horizontally is one, two, so we have a three over a two. We can use the slope formula and find the change in y values over the change in x values, we do 8 minus 5 over 2 minus 0. That gives us a 3 over a 2, just like we found with the rise and the run. And our y-intercept b is a 5. Here we have a graph. It's rising to the right, so we know our slope is going to be a positive number. We can just look at it, and we can count where the graph is crossing the y-axis. We can also look at the ordered pair. It's a 0, negative 6. x is a 0, so we know negative 6 is our y-intercept. We can even count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 into the negative. We can count the rise and the run. The rise is 12, and the run is 6. We have a 12 over a 6 for our slope. We can use the slope formula and find the difference in the y values over the x values, we get a 6 minus a negative 6. And remember, when we subtract a negative, we add the opposite. So we're going to add a positive 6. That gives us a 12. And 6 minus 0 is 6. Our slope is 12, 6. We can simplify that to a 2, couldn't we? But that's our rise over our run. We know the y-intercept, that b, is at negative 6. So, just by looking at our graph, we see that it's falling to the right. So we know our slope is going to be a negative number. We count what the change is vertically. It's going down by 4, and it's going across by 6. So our rise is a negative 4, and our run is a 6. Using the ordered pairs, we have a negative 6 for our x sub 1. It's a little subscript 1. And an 8 for our y sub 1. That's a little one telling us which one is which. We can tell them from the second one and the first one. See? We use the slope formula to find the change in the y values over the x values. We have a 4 minus an 8, and then we have a 0 minus a negative 6. 4 minus 8 goes into the negatives. We have a negative 4, just like we did here. And 0 minus 6, we're subtracting a negative, so we add the opposite, we get a positive 6, just like we did here by counting our vertical and horizontal hops. 
our y-intercept B is a 4. That's where it crosses the y-axis. So where x equals 0. So we could do this using the slope formula, or we could do it just by looking at it and counting the rise and the run and seeing if the graph is falling to the right or rising to the right. For this one, we can see the graph is falling to the right, so we know it's going to be a negative slope. We can count how many it's coming down. It comes down 6, so we have a negative 6. And our run going across is a 3, so we have negative 6 over 3. We can use the slope formula. We can do 2 minus 8 over 3 minus 0. That gives us a negative 6 over a 3, just like we got by just looking at it and counting it. We can see where the y-intercept is, b. It's at 8. It's where the x is equal to 0. Remember to choose points from left to right for point 1 and point 2. Remember the vertical changes the rise, the horizontal changes the run, and the rise over the run is the slope, m. Y-intercept b is where the graph crosses the y-axis, and if the graph rises to the right, it's a positive slope, and if the graph falls to the right, we know it's going to be a negative slope. So now you know you can just look at a graph, tell if the slope is going to be a positive or negative number, and you can count the rise and the run from the two points. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.